Hello everyone, uh, welcome you all in this uh, live session. As you can see, today we are going to discuss one of the experiment under the syllabus of workshop manufacturing practices that is house wearing circuits. Though I have told that this is uh, an experiment, but already you have gone through different shops under manufacturing practices and you have seen that basically uh, this particular lab workshop is different from the other labs like physics or chemistry. Here not only you are doing hands on, but actually you are creating something. If you can remember in the carpentry shop, you have made something out of some raw material. In the uh, casting, you have a deal with a very high temperature like 700 degree centigrade liquid aluminium, right? And in welding, you have actually done the welding, right? So I can remember your faces when you first time uh, actually see those cutting tools are in your hand. You were very excited and that is why I am telling that this particular lab is quite different and you are very enthusiastic in doing experiments. So these are not typical experiments. All these are hands on doing something, creating something. But unfortunately, uh, most of you are not exposed to the machine shop. Uh, but uh, anyhow, uh, if possible, afterwards we will see whether we can manage some classes after lockdown is over. Now here uh, we are going to start a new experiment which is house wearing circuits. So it is quite clear that what we are going to do here that we will see that how house wearing is done. So what are the objectives? We will first familiarize with the name of different components involved in house wearing. Okay? And definitely what are their functions then we'll see how the wearing is done the how these components are connected okay this is what is the circuit diagram most of the things are in a remembering level but some of the things that I will specifically mention when we will describe that those are conceptual okay now uh, finally we'll see that uh, what is the importance of our thing and at the end, we will see one practical demo how a switch port connection is actually made. This is basically one of the YouTube videos that is embedded in this slide. Okay. Now here you can see uh, this is a pole from where uh, in our house we are getting the connection or the line. right? But in this particular discussion, we are not considering the portion that uh, how the power is generated in the power station in the power plants okay then how the power is transmitted okay so after power generation and it is transmitted then it is finally through grid coming to this pole and then it comes to our house so in this particular session we are not going to di discuss about the power generation and the power transmission and distribution okay so that is a huge part basically if you are interested you can definitely go into it but i just want to mention few things that you must have some idea that how power is generated one mechanical device is definitely important that is the turbine either it is a steam turbine or gas turbine or in case of a non-conventional some other kind of turbine may be there but somehow some mechanical device which helps in rotating the generator so that rotational motion through generator power is generated okay in the power station then after generation a long distance power has to transfer to the city maybe because the power generation stations are generally uh, far away from our residen residential places and for this transmission uh, generally uh, since these are very long distances generally voltage is step up and that is why uh, after generation of the power through the step up uh, transformers we generally increases the voltage to kV level in kilovolt level okay so what happens because of that the current becomes very low since the voltage increases current becomes very low and that is why uh, during long distance transmission the transmission loss actually minimized but when we finally get 
in our houses or different uh, places uh, for the end users then again it is required to step down the voltage then that is why again transformers are there to step down the voltage from the uh, transmission line to our house but uh, let us not discuss in detail that how uh, that part is actually operating or what are the components are there this is again a very complicated thing those who are in electrical uh, there is a dedicated course on the power plant that will study now anyhow suppose the power has come to this pole here you can see that one red one, uh, line and another one black line the red one is the phase line and the black one is the neutral line okay so one is phase and another one is neutral i have uh, given in the experiment name it is a simple uh, kind of a, uh, a wiring system that i am describing because uh, it can be a three phase uh, connection also so in case of a three phase connection generally three uh, phase lines are coming and one neutral lines are coming okay here i am showing a single phase connection where a single phase line and one neutral line is coming then after uh, this is uh, taken from the pole it goes to our electric meters now here you can see the line voltage is in the in uh, different countries they have different specifications are there in india it is say around 50 hertz and the line voltage is 230 volt it can be 440 volt if heavy machines or large industries or in our workshop uh, also we have certain uh, devices that runs under induction motor so we need the three phase connection so in that case it is a 440 volt connection is also there so here it is a single phase connection and line voltage is what that is 230 volt okay and 50 hertz is the frequency which is the standard in india now it goes to our electric meter remember this connection is the ac connection and it goes to our electric meter so this one is the ac energy meter you know that in our houses this energy meter is there and from where we can uh, uh, we can actually measure that how much energy actually utilized now here is another very important component you can see which is mcb okay mcb is basically a circuit breaker miniature circuit breaker but here this is a double pole miniature circuit breaker or dp mcb okay so this is dp mcb double pole means here you can see that one phase and another neutral both are going here okay so this is a double pole miniature circuit breaker what is the function of this miniature circuit breaker the obviously from the name it is clear that it breaks the circuit when it breaks the circuit it breaks the circuit when overload is detected or if somehow some short circuit is taken place so during overload or short circuit what happens a huge amount of current is drawn and then uh, it measures up uh, uh, if it is above a particular set it breaks okay now you see another device here which is rccb or elcb okay this is actually not protecting the whole circuit rather it is basically for our safety this is used okay if there is any uh, cut in the wire or somehow earth leakage is taking place then uh, this basically breaks the circuit this is what is called earth leakage circuit breaker that means if somehow it ha actually this is a comparator this comparator one comparator is there within it which compares between the line voltage and the neutral uh, neutral voltage and now line and the neutral line if the currents are found uh, a large difference above a set value then it breaks the circuit okay because when you connect uh, the line and neutral with a load then in the line and the neutral should have the same current unless otherwise some kind of a leakage takes place so if there is any cut in the wear or some kind of a leakage there then there is a chance of getting shock so this is basically preventing us from getting electric shock okay so this is what is the function of earth leakage circuit breaker these are again uh, mcbs or miniature circuit breakers but you, if you can compare with this one 
these are double pole where these are single pole or single phase okay so these are single pole mcbs okay the function is exactly the same but uh, uh, in, in for individual uh, rooms or individual boards these uh, many number of single phase mcbs are there function already you know the mcb uh, breaks the circuit when there is overload and if there is any short circuit clear so you have to remember these things now here you can see this is a component which is called neutral bus bar that means all these are basically connected through metal that means through conductor so if one neutral line coming here and if you can draw many lines out of it all these are basically connected okay these are called neutral bus bar this one is earth block similar to the neutral bus bar these are also connected but through which basically the earthing lines are coming and going okay so this is what is earth block. the whole thing is what is called the distribution board through which basically it is connected to the different room or different buildings or different floors maybe okay Here you can see the main acting terminal block. So this main acting terminal blocks are most of the cases situated just below the meter in many houses. And basically from the art blocks, the, all the lines, all the acting lines come into this one. Okay. And this is basically one of the way by which the acting is done. That is uh, a metallic electrode uh, that is grounded or uh, buried in the ground. Here you can see. So this is the arcing, one of the way by which you can do arcing. Simply a metallic rod buried into the ground. So this is electrode, a simple metal, and this is the arc. Now coming to suppose uh, the current is to be distributed to a particular room. Suppose in that room, these are the this is one of the switch port, right? So in that switchboard there are many components and those are known to you. This is what? This is a 3 pin socket. You can see these are like switches. This is fan regulator. This is indicator. Okay. And this one is fuse. So these are the components in a switchboard. Now there can be different loads like maybe this switch is controlling this load like the electric bulb maybe this one is electric fan okay so maybe this switch is controlling this one so these are the things are the different components that are used in the wearing now we will see how these components are connected okay so up to this much i think it is clear right so what is this one this is dp mcb what is the function? The function is from overload or short circuit. What is the function of arc leakage circuit breaker? It is protecting us from getting shock. Okay. It basically there is a comparator where the line voltage and the neutral, these two are compared. And if it is found more than a particular current, then it breaks the circuit. Okay. that uh, how these components are connected okay so here are the components now we will see how all these components are connected so this is what is the wearing so what extra thing you are observing here in this picture so this thing was not there in the previous picture so you can thought of in this way suppose this is a switch board in a room which is controlling few loads and one socket is there and maybe some heavy machine maybe a refrigerator or air conditioner having a separate uh, point okay separate point. so uh, maybe some other um, circuit breaker will control this one maybe one circuit breaker will control this room switch board maybe there is another room say room 2 and that is also having a similar kind of a switchboard and that may be controlled by another circuit breaker 
okay so let us see how these are connected so initially uh, phase is coming and the neutral is coming from the pole so now phase and neutral goes to the AC meter input so these are the input two inputs then from the output of the AC meter it goes to double pole MCB or DP MCB okay so here we, you can see the phase and the neutral is going then from the MCB output it goes to the input of earth leakage circuit breaker okay now from the earth leakage circuit breaker you see the phase line is given to all the MCBs there may be number of MCBs depending upon the number of rooms or number of floors okay number of switchboards so these are the MCBs that is connected through this RCC and the neutral is going to the neutral bus up to this much it is clear okay now how the power is going to the switchboard so from one of the MCB let us consider this first MCB which is controlling this switchboard or this is controlling all the loads through this switchboard so the phase is going to the one end of the fuse okay then from the other end of the fuse you see the phase line is go goes to the indicator okay one end of the indicator and now you see this phase line from this end of the indicator goes to one end of the switch and from there it goes to the other end of the second switch and it goes to the other end of the second switch uh, third switch so one of the end of the switches are given this phase line okay so in case of a fuse from one end it is going from the other end it is taken indicator one end of the indicator one end of the switch one end of the switch one end of the switch all these are connected in series through the phase line okay now you see for the fan this fan is operating the regulator is operating by the switch so in regulator through this line from the other end of the switch it is going to the one end of the regulator okay so when it will be on then this and this will be connected then that means the phase will go here now depending upon the regulator position the phase and here you can see this switch is controlling this point that is why this uh, this is a phase line and you see from the other end it is going there so when it will be on then basically the phase will go there otherwise phase will not go there because these two will be not connected okay so in this way from one switch to the phase point is going or from one switch it is one end of the regulator going now from the other end it is connected to the load that means here it is the fan there is the live line but what about the neutral the circuit has to be completed across the load so from the other end the load is going to the bus bar, neutral bus bar. so that is why the circuit is completed clear how the fan is connected now you see how the electric bulb is connected here you can see this is one end when it is off these two are not connected when it is on these two are connected that means when it is on then one end life will go to the load and the other end definitely go to the neutral bus okay so in this way the circuit will be completed now maybe this one here indicator is another light basically okay so indicator is also connected other end has to be connected to the neutral so that the circuit is completed clear now see in this three pin socket one pin is connected to the phase other one is going to the neutral clear and the other one is going to the R thing okay so these three points one corresponding to R thing and one corresponding to the phase another corresponding to the neutral okay 
Now let us consider this particular switchboard where there is only one switch and one socket. It is maybe controlled by a separate dedicated MCB. So from there it goes to the one end of the switch and switch will give it is quite clear. So other end of the switch will give the phase. This one will go to the neutral bus bar and this one is the acting line. It is as simple as that. Maybe this is room one. This is maybe one particular heavy electrical appliance. Maybe there is another room two. That room two having similar kind of a switch board that may be controlled by this MCB. Okay. So now you see all these arcing lines which are coming in the arcing block is now going to the main arcing block okay all these are going to the main arcing block not only that there may be some other uh, heavy electrical uh, equipments like the electric motor or some other from there also the arcing line are directly coming here so this is the main arcing block where from it is going to the electrode and ultimately arcing. okay so now you have a very good idea i think regarding how the wearing is done within a room okay now let us see what is actually our thing and what is the importance of our thing okay so let us consider this is one of the electrical equipment say electric cooker and you see that what are the live line here you can see one phase line one neutral line and one arcing line has come now it is very important that this arcing line has to be connected to the casing that is very very important because somehow because of certain uh, fault within that electrical equipment if the current leakage or the charge stored at this outer surface then through this arcing line it goes to the ground otherwise if this is not connected well that means if arcing is not there properly then what happens that it will not go directly to the earth and it may go through your body here you can see if arcing is proper here you can see two figures suppose the arcing is not pro here this was arcing is there then what happens some because of some fault maybe this electrical appliances are now charged then what will happen if you touch it then there are two possibilities either the charge will pass through your body and go to the earth sorry either uh, the charge will pass through your body and go to the earth or another option is this charge will go through this where and go to the earth now it depends on if earth is not there then there is only one chance that it will pass through your body now if earth is there then what happens you know that at a dry condition your body having a huge resistance in the order of maybe 10000 ohm okay so if you compare with that resistance with this arcing wire which is basically a conductor definitely the charge will go through this arcing wire and go to the ground not through your body because it is the easiest part and current will definitely flow in the easiest part okay but if there is no arcing wire properly connected and if you are touching it then even if your resistance is very high if the voltage is sufficient then you may feel a charge uh, you may feel a shock because it will pass through your body and that is why arcing is very very important if arcing is proper then there is no chance of getting shock okay so here is uh, one demonstration has been shown that how actually uh, these things are connected here you can see one switch box where which containing uh, basically two switches and two uh, three pin plug you just observe this is one of the youtube video that will definitely give you some idea that so this is the plastic box plastic switch box where initially according to the socket this has been cut you can make with the help of wood also because already you have done carpentry work so the plastic 
it is easier because plastics are very soft and less costly also here you can see the switches and sockets you can get from the shop those are joined with the help of screwdriver you can see here is the indicator which is connected in this way and this is fuse so here the people are trying to make a switch box which containing two sweeping sockets one indicator and one fuse now this is the most important part that how the connection is made you see initially <coughs> the neutral wire is connected you know that one end is neutral for each socket so this end is neutral this end is neutral so all this neutral can be connected and they will go to the ultimately bus bar through the connection that is coming now see you know that one of the end of the indicator also goes to the through the neutral bus bar so that is why this is also connected in series with the neutral and if you connect this one with the bus bar then that is sufficient because all will go to the bus bar then now you see the other one end of the socket you know that the live line is coming from the switch other end of the switch where the live line is coming maybe this end is the live line is coming in the switch and that is connected to this end of the socket similarly from the switch the live line is coming to the other end of the socket and you see that how these nuts are actually tightened remember actually uh, this thing you have to make of your own so see it carefully now you remember that one end of all the switches live line are in series so here there are two switches this switch this switch so one end definitely will be this end this end will be connected in series with the live line and definitely it will go to the one end of the indicator also because all these are connected now fuse connection is simple because one end the fuse will be connected to the indicator live line and other end will be connected 